Welcome to the Meltran Designs Podcast. I'm your host, Melissa, also known as Anansi on Ravelry and on Plurk and Instagram. I am Meltran Designs, all one word. There's also a Meltran Designs group on Ravelry as well as Facebook if you want to follow along with when the podcast goes up and if I have any designs that go out or anything like that, go ahead and, and join those. Welcome to... Um, any new viewers welcome back to returning viewers thank you for spending your time with me I don't know how long this one's gonna be I have um, quite a bit to talk about um, so I guess we'll just see it's been a while since I podcasted I seem like I say that every time I have tried to record multiple times and it fell through for one reason or another so even right now it's 11.25 at night on Sunday, July 19th, 2015. My kids are actually asleep, or well, laying down outside in the tent, out front. I'm gonna sleep on the couch tonight to make sure I can hear them because this is the first time they've ever slept outside alone. So, um, and all we have really is a front yard. It's fenced in, but still. Um, and uh, anyway, so, I, yeah, I decided, you know what, Quinn's asleep, Jake's asleep, the kids are outside, the house is quiet, I'm just going to record really quick. So anyway, um, let's see, do you like my upside down clock right there? Kyan got that for a birthday present and she's colored, you can see like half of it, and um, somehow it got turned around. <laughs> so I don't even think it has the right time on it right now. It's just kind of there, tick-tocking. All right. I hope you've been well. I'm um, going right into happenings this week, these last couple weeks. I don't know. Nothing that stands out. The kids have done um, swimming lessons. Eli did his um, not this last week, but two weeks before that. And then the girls have had it this last week, and they'll have it this coming up week. Um, they're all doing well. I started a new workout routine, so that's been fun. I've done one whole week of it so far. <laughs> um, let me think. Um, 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 I know, I'm saying um, I'm just trying to think. I nothing, nothing important that is that is standing out. The kids go back to school in about three weeks, three weeks from tomorrow, actually. Yay! So we're gonna go school supply shopping this week and get them their stuff, some shoes, all that fun stuff that costs so much money. <laughs> um, yeah, those are all old pictures. We didn't get new pictures this year because they went through somebody new and they like tripled the price. And I was like, it used to be $10 just for one of those eight by tens. And it was 30. It, they literally tripled the price. And I was like, I can't spend $30 on one picture for each. Anyways, you guys don't care. I'm just telling you, those are really outdated pictures. I just realized those were in the background. It's late. I hope I don't ramble too much. Okay, let's get into other stuff. I have some things in the works that I can't really talk about yet, but just know that new stuff will be coming. So yay. That will be good. I'm just not yet in a place where I can really talk about it because none of it is finalized. So I just want to make sure that what I tell you is, is going to be complete and accurate. All right. Going on slash coming up, nothing. Nada, nada, nada. I'm participating in a couple things. I jumped in on the dramatic knits, knit along for this month, the sweater knit along. Well, it's for like four months, but my project for the... Um, 90% knitting, knit along, it was also a, a sweater, so, um, yeah, participating in those, and Camp Loopy, I did order, oh, I was gonna grab my Camp Loopy stuff, I don't even know where it is off the top of my head, I never know where stuff is, you guys must think I'm totally unorganized, which I mostly am, <laughs> I have it somewhere, it's gonna look awesome, it's gonna be a full-on quilt, because, you know, that's what I don't want to do, Okay, I'm going to vent just for a second. I have wanted to do Camp Loopy for years, but 
I never have the extra money for the yarn because I always have yarn. And so I can't justify just, you know, one skein at a time or two or, you know, whatever for the three months in a row paying all of that shipping. And so when I saw that there was a sewing version and I had my new sewing machine, I was like, hey, I can get this. I can, you know, improve my sewing, yada, yada, yada. I know from the knitting one that they progressively require more yarn. So I assumed they would progressively require more fabric. Well, the amount of fabric that this, the third one is, is such a large amount, I don't have a choice but to do a quilt. Like, and I'm doing a rag quilt for Anansi's birthday for this month because I was like, hey, that's totally cheater. I don't have to do all the little, um, you know, perfect squared edges because it, with the rag quilt, the edges stick up around the outsides and you clip them. So there's a lot of fudging involved and I didn't want to do the bias tape around it and so I'm not. I'm leaving raw edges on that as well. We have four yards of fabric. Well, one of the gals, I posted on, on the group, I was like, this is ridiculous. I don't want, I am not a quilter. I don't want to be a quilter. I want to make other stuff. And they're forcing my hand because I looked. I wish Craftsy would let you search by yardage requirement like Ravelry does. I know they're not the same. I'm just saying it's a nice feature. Um, I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. And there's a bump in my couch. <laughs> um, nothing that took that much fabric. One lady posted and said she's going to make this bag that's that ginormous, takes four yards. I made a bag for the first month. I don't want a ginormous bag. And she said it was hard anyways. I'm not an advanced sewer. I, um, Lisa suggested maybe like a shower curtain. I don't want a patchwork shower curtain and you have to have half yard cuts of X amount of things. And we had to do four half yard cuts and a short stack, which is um, a set of fat quarters. So I would have had to do some sort of patchwork type thing. It, it was a good idea. I just don't, I don't want the, it's anyways, I really greatly dislike that. I feel like all I have an option for is a quilt. So, um, I don't plan on doing it ever again, which is too bad because it was really fun and exciting. And then it just, but it'll be an awesome quilt. I really like the pattern, the patterns and the fabric and everything. I'm doing a really basic one. I am going to do bias tape and all that, make my own. Cause I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it full bore and I'm going to learn as much as I can. <laughs> so anyway, I will be doing that next month, but it's cool, I guess. Anyway, I'll turn it into a positive. It'll be, it'll, I'll be happy. I have it at the end, but I don't want to, I don't want to quilt and I don't want to be forced to. So anyways, moving on now that I've vented a little bit. All right. You see eight minutes in good grief. Let's talk about the knitting works in progress. None. I finished the thing that was on the needles and the other thing that's on the needles now is actually just, I'll show it to you. It's a design, but it's something I'm going to be pulling out. I was just messing around with it to see if a stitch would work. <laughs> So nothing, I have nothing that I'm actively working on. I have a design right here that I haven't touched all week, but I need to work on Anansi's quilt. So I will start something else. Um, not necessarily start something else, but work on something else. I just, there's nothing to show on this one. Nothing. I do have some FOs and um, yeah, let's just move on to those. I made a Langfield hat, thanks to Amy from Stockin' at Zombies talking about it. This is some hand spun. Um, the reason this is lighter is because when I finished spinning this, I still had some yarn left. Um, so it still is a three ply, but it doesn't have, I ran out of the darker color. So um, anyways, it kind of reminds me of Star Wars stuff a little bit. This yarn is so amazing though. It was a three ply fiber set that Lisa does, uh, Fiber Nymph, where it's two ounce um, braids or whatever of three different colors. 
Quinn's crying. Hold on. Oh, I think she dropped her binky. Should I run and grab it or stop this? I don't know how to... Sp I'm using different software. Hold on. She's not crying anymore. All right. It's three two-ounce braids of one of her colorways. She, like, this is Poseidon's Love, and it's the three different colors that go into that, and you spin them and then ply them together. Really cool. I ended up with Chunky Yarn because it's merino, and I don't like spinning merino. But I'm happy to have this. So, the... The way the hat goes, you make this triangle, which it's a paid for pattern, I'm not gonna give away too much. And then you kind of work aside and then put it together. It's really cool. Um, I actually ended up knitting it twice because the first time it was way too big because one of the things, it, it just says, the one thing wrong with the pattern is it says do section two or whatever until desired length. Desired length of what? like from here to here, or, you know, because on normal hat patterns, it'll say work in pattern until it's six inches or seven inches or nine inches or whatever, and then start the decreases. She didn't say that. She just said work until desired length. With the way this is all put together, I don't know what my desired length is. And actually, if you read through the pattern notes, a lot of people were like, well, I was just winging it because I have no idea what she's talking about. It's a pattern by Martina Bem. I honestly expect more from her because she's a very established designer and she's written very good patterns. I mean, I've made hers before and that one section was quite lacking. So, but I figured it out after knitting it twice. Just sit tight. I'm gonna run and give her her binky and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Couldn't find her binky. It was dark in there. She's still making noise. She's hot. I had to turn the air conditioner back on. She always just goes to sleep. Of course I'm recording. It's the one night that, eh. I apologize. I'm a mom. What can I say? Hat. Good. Langfield. Martina Bem. I was going to show it to you. Okay. Let's just wear it like this, right? What I do is just kind of fold it over. And so I can wear it like this with the lighter part in the front, or what I did was there's the side where it comes like this, and that looks that looks kind of neat towards the front too. Kind of gives it a different look. So anyway. Okay. My other FO. That qualifies for the no long. She's still crying. I don't know how to splice this. I'm trying to figure out if she's going to stop. I don't think she is. Okay, I'm going to stop this and we'll just have to wing it. So I'll be right back. I'm back with Quinn. Who's that? Say hi, Quinn. Hi, Quinn. You guys haven't seen her in a long time. Hi, Quinn. Hi, Mom. Hi, Monkey. She's saying hi to the monkey. Hi, Monkey. Mm. 
Can you give the monkey a big hug? A big hug. Hi. That's right. Say hi. Can you wave. Say hi. Hey. Baby, that's Quinn. Say hi, Quinn. Hi, Mom. Hi, monkey. All right. We're going to try and finish this now. You want your binky? Okay, the other FO I have. Um, well, this one fits in with the um, knit along for Lisa's. This one is my kind of official knit along entry, and that was just an extra one because I finished. It is Jake's sweater in all of its purple glory. If it looks blue, it's not as purple. It is out of Barocco Vintage, the worsted weight in the aubergine colorway. Um, the pattern was Yuka Heinen. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, free for a reason, it was just kind of thrown together it seems like, but it was easy to follow and I, that was fine. I would change um, how I did the neck, but it looks fine once it's on. It looks weird when it's just sitting there, but it looks fine when it's on him. Um, it was really off on how much yarn you need. I have two full skeins completely untouched. And of course I wound them because it said I needed a bunch of yarn, so I wound them all. Usually I don't wind like one, but I was like, well, he's tall, so I'll need to make it extra long. Nope, so I can't return them or anything, so I'm um, going to design a hat for him. I know I'm not in designing yet, but I'm just saying, with one of the other two balls, I will be designing, in fact, I've already designed it. I'm going to start knitting it tonight. Um, I'm going to call it the husband hat. I know, original, right? Anyway, so look for that to be coming soon. Um, and the only other stuff I'm working on is designing, except for I brought a couple, or I, I brought the um, quilt squares that I worked on today. Okay, well, this is just one each, one of each of the colors, um, but I sewed together 10 or 15 of them. So here's one side, the other side is exactly the opposite. This one is the same, oh, what did I bring? So we have, do you see the swirlies? Don't look at my sewing, it's not good. And there's the opposite swirlies. And then I have this one. This one's not the opposite. They didn't have the opposite. And then I do have one pink square that will be in there because Anansi wanted some pink. And there will be a square that has an applique. Well, and on the pink square, some of that blue is going to be an applique A. And on one of those squares, there's going to be um, a pink daisy with a yellow center because we had to do a bit of applique. So that'll be, that'll um, satisfy that requirement. Um, this design stuff I can show you. Um, the beanie that I've, the kind of slouchy hat that, that I've knit a couple of recently that I've said I can't show. I did knit another one, that's what I just finished. I can show the yarn that I used, but I cannot show it because I'm, I've decided that I'm gonna submit it um, to Nitty. But, and, and they say that in their, in their guidelines you cannot have shown it um, anywhere. So I won't be showing it until I, get rejected or until it shows up. If it gets rejected, if it gets rejected, then I'll just be passing it off to you guys. Mm. Yeah. All right, so I've been knitting on this. It looks like a sock, but it's not. It's um, leftover 716 yarn that I have enough to make a pair of socks. Um, it's just some, some stitch pattern messing around, and then this is, um, kind of a pointy chevroni-ish kind of thing. Totally just messing around to see what works with self-striping. And I already had it cast on because I tried something a long time ago and I was like, hey, look, it's already on the needles. So that's nothing. Um, two of these are actually kind of the same thing. This is um, just some scrap yarn. Um, Dragonfly, dam, damselfly fibers. Um, I'm just 
trying something out with some different increases. You can't even really tell. It's so small, size five needles. I mean, I only have this much. I grabbed it so I could see if it worked. And what I'll do is work until I'm out of yarn and then pull it off the needles and see what it looks like. Or maybe until I'm one round away and then bind off or something just so I can see what it does. And then I have this yarn that having a really hard time with this yarn. It's that awesome skein that I got from Nitty and Color in Maryland and it just it's looking better now. It was looking really muddy at first um, but it's looking better now. Here's how it's looking knit up. Um, just playing actually with the same decrease increases as I am here. Just this is in the round and this is back and forth so half of it. Um, I might pull it out. It might turn into a shawl. We'll see. I wanted to really go big and I had this skein already sitting here wound, so I just grabbed it. And it needs to be stockinette anyways, so it, it works. And I can, um, I can grab it if I'm going anywhere, if I'm working on something bigger like the sweater or whatever. I've grabbed this a couple of times. My nose wants to sneeze. Anyway, so that, I guess that's kind of on the needles, but it's design and it's not always, it's not a priority. Um, yeah, that's all to show you on there. Lastly, so the hat that I did, I actually did it in five different colors and, um, Steve from Dramatic Knit, no, no, well from Dramatic Knits, but, um, Leading Men Fiber Arts, um, was kind enough to give me some yarn support to design with. Um, this is his MCN base, his showstopper. Um, I want to get the colors correct because I changed them up. So there's this dark blue that is Dames at Sea. This one is Old Blue Eyes. Love this. It's, yeah, there we go. Reflecting a little bit. This, okay. He sent me a picture of two different sets that he had. I picked this one thinking this was brown because that's what it looks like in the picture. Nope, it's totally purple. And it's called Quinn Stop. Um, Gothic Queen. This is Sandcastle. And this is Poseidon. This color is really cool because at a glance it looks kind of like a um, like a blue green. But when you're looking up close, there's a lot of blue with yellow over it. Which I know blue and green, blue and yellow make green, but you can very much see the yellow over the blue. So it, it was really neat to, to see this up close. Um, I have enough of these to make them into something fun or just throw them into my, um, my scrap leftover thing. I don't know. We'll see. Not enough of this one though. <laughs> I used it for the beginning and it used more, so. She has found my tablet. Um, that's all I have to show you um, that I can tangibly, you know, really show you. But I also wanted to show you what I did the other night when nobody showed up at knit night at the coffee shop. And I sat there for three hours. Um, I designed, this is men's socks. This is a beanie based off of the same stitch pattern. This is, and this is um, another pair of men's socks, two different sizes and two different options within those sizes. So there's actually four socks written out here. And um, there's going to be a pair of men's mittens based off of that same stitch pattern. I didn't start writing that up because I don't know the stitch count for men's mittens, like memorized off the top of my head. So. Then there's the husband hat. I wrote that up. And then I also have, besides those on my little sheet here, I have a pullover motif idea. I have um, a possible self-striping sock pattern or just a regular pattern. Um, I have a mitten idea. 
I have um, sock idea. I have a hat and sock and a fingering weight beanie. I don't know if it'll, I don't think it'll be slouchy. I think it'll just be a, you know, kind of snugger fitting. All of that. I went through my knit and pearl book the other night and was just like, what, what are some ideas? And just started writing them down and had a really good time. Oh, I have something right there to show you. I finished my May mini square and now I can start my June one. There it is. The, this solid blue is China blue and this is um, May, May skies, something skies. Something skies. Anyway, so that's that's what that, I, I'm loving these. They're super soft and squishy and yeah, I need to get started on the, on the June ones. Anyway, all right. I think that's all I have for you. Um, if you're looking for a nice beaded wrap pattern, a friend of mine designed, um, put out a design. I don't know when she put it out. I just discovered it the other day and because um, she said, hey, go look at this sweater that I posted that I finished and then I started looking at her designs because I realized I never had before. And it it's technically a crescent shaped shawl but it's actually, it, it's more like um, a big stole that just has one side that's longer than the other. That's what it reminds me of. One that you can just wrap around a bunch of times and it's really tall and it has a beaded section. And anyways, it's really cool. It's called Fireflies at Dusk and I'm kind of obsessed with it and I want to make one. <laughs> so if you're bored and wanna go check out a really cool pattern and if you happen to buy it, and think of it, put in the notes that you heard of it from from here, just so she knows. So anyway, Fireflies at Dusk. And um, the designer is Priscilla Madsen. So anyways, I'm gonna say bye now and try to put these two together and see if it works. And otherwise, I'll just have to start over, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Have a great week and until next time, keep knitting. Bye.